Nobel laureate and official knight of the British realm, Sir Tim Hunt, is in the news for telling a group of female scientists in Korea that girls in labs are bad news for three reasons. Because they fall in love with Hunt, because Hunt falls in love with them, and because they cry so much. I have a pretty good idea of why they're crying. It's because they can't figure out what they did in life to deserve the horrible, magical curse that made them fall in love with a gross-ass, scraggly-haired, septuagenarian, sexist asshole. After pretty much everyone who works in science spoke up to say, hey, Tim Hunt, that's a pretty damaging joke you just made, he came forward to apologize. Not for what he said, which he actually stands behind 100% and even made clearer that it's not a joke, but because he said it in front of journalists. He's obviously just angry that now the whole world knows he's a dipshit, so he's much less likely to be able to trick grad students into fucking him using the line, hey, have you ever touched a Nobel Prize? How about a Nobel Prize winner? As for his point about women crying in labs, first of all, it's absolutely a fact that men cry in labs as well. But it's also probably true that women cry more often in labs, since women cry more often in general, thanks to both physiological reasons and social reasons. On the physiological side, women's tear ducts are smaller than men's on average, and so it's actually much more difficult to stop from crying when your tear duct fills up the tears have to go somewhere. If you have larger tear ducts, you're more likely to be able to hold in your tears. And then there are the social reasons. We raise boys to think of crying as a shameful thing, and we reward them for not crying, in the same way that Hunt is currently punishing women for crying. And then there's the simple fact that women just have way more stuff to cry about in the lab. For instance, like having to work with people like Tim Hunt. A recent study was published by Harvard Business Review in which they found that the majority of women working in STEM fields reported having to prove their competence over and over again much more often than their peers. And the majority of women also reported being discouraged from displaying masculine behaviors like speaking out about their opinions. The study found that it was even worse for women of color. About half of all African-American and Latina women surveyed reported being mistaken for administrative or custodial staff at some point. And about half of all Asian-American women said that they were often expected to take on the feminine role in the office or lab, being the mother hen or the good daughter role. With all that going against them, women who work in STEM who don't burst into tears on a daily basis should be eligible for some sort of award. We can call it the Sir Tim Hunt Memorial Prize for putting up with total bullshit. Does somebody want to start that Kickstarter? Because I will absolutely contribute to it.